Alright guys, welcome back to a brand new video, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to translate your Roblox games, okay? Now, this is actually a pretty important thing to do if you um, aren't actually doing this. It's a, it's a good way to, like, you know, get some more players into your game, and, uh, you know, people will really appreciate it if they're, like, from foreign countries and stuff like that. And it's actually a lot easier than you'd think, um, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys how you can do some automatic translating and uh, also if you want to do some like manual translating You can do that too, but I'm just gonna show you the automatic stuff for now uh, Anyways, all right, so um, let's go ahead and show you guys this. All right, so I have a game right here Which is actually this game right here um, and uh, I just pulled up the actual, you know, like the link to it And so you need to do this for whatever game you have just go ahead and get the link to it and uh, pull it up and um, also Wait, wait, actually, before I keep going, I have one more thing, one more thing to, to say. Also, guys, if you weren't here on, like, Saturday, I did this, like, really cool event called, like, the Rotank, which was, like, this thing where, like, we had, like, um, you know, some people come and listen to these uh, people present, and basically what happened was if they had a good idea and if we liked it, uh, there's a chance that we might invest into it. So it was pretty cool. And we're actually having the same thing here on this Saturday. So uh, if you're interested in that, be sure to, uh, you know, subscribe for this, and also there will be a form and link below. Um, so go fill that out. Out and you might be able to get on the show but if you just want to watch it'll be saturday at 2 p.m eastern uh so yeah anyways i'm sorry for that but uh yeah it went pretty well so if you were there i appreciate it it was really cool and uh, i had a good time so we're doing it again on saturday at 2 p.m eastern all right anyways so here's how we do this okay so go ahead and go to your game or whatever you have right and then go to your uh configure right here or this little three dots and then just hit configure localization okay now the reason why it's called localization is because basically like you want to like localize the game okay so like what, what they mean by localize is like not only translate it but like make it feel like it's like like a spanish game or whatever that whatever language you want to translate it to or localize it to right because like sometimes you can just translate word for word and it doesn't really feel right um i'm not sure if you guys know what i mean by that but i'll explain that in a second all right anyway so basically if you want to translate a um if you want to translate uh, to, into a different language, um, well, first you probably want to set your game source language, which most of you probably will be English. So go ahead and set that right there, okay? And then you're going to go to your settings, okay? And then you're going to hit this right here. You're going to see it says automatic text capture, all right? Go ahead and check that on. And what that's going to do basically is that's going to um, make it so whenever, okay, people play your game, uh, it's going to like scrape the text that they see in the game, uh, like from the GUI elements, and then it's going to like put it in this uh, like f table I guess um, so it, you can later translate it okay and then this is actually just makes it so they use the translated content so don't turn this on just yet Leave, that'll that'll be off uh, these will both be off by default but turn this on right now um, so yeah anyways all right so go back to that go back to languages after that and then go ahead and uh, choose whatever language you want to translate it to so I'll do um, like uh, French or something like that I think that works yeah okay and what's gonna happen is I click on the language French right here all right and what's gonna say right here is gonna say all of the text that it's seen okay so um, in this game like uh, I'll go and test it out for you guys right now um, basically I have a few UI elements right and basically they say a few things but that's what that text there was so as you can see uh, not the best UI is just kind of temporary for now but as you can see I do have some stuff here um, and it does a little bit of text, right? So basically, that's what it saw, and that's what's there, okay? So basically, what you can do is just translate this text right here to French, okay? So you have someone who speaks French, or someone, or maybe Google Translate, and you just literally just copy and paste it, right? So, I mean, yeah, it's kind of that simple, I guess. But um, you can also do it with, like, okay, so another way to, like, automatically translate a game is with your... Um, localization tools up here in the plugins section you go to plugins and then tools and then you can uh, go through here and translate it now, this is a, i'm not gonna lie it's a little bit more complicated because you have to like download a csv file and then um translate all that stuff but if you want to you can do that there's actually a pretty simple way to do that as well which i'll leave in the link below if you're interested in that but anyways i'm not going to go into that but yeah basically you just basically copy and copy and paste whatever you want here so um you just see f to pick up so i'll look i'll look up you know uh english to french and uh, I'll do pick up because obviously I don't, I don't want to translate the F. And there we go, remaster. And simple as that. Uh, you can just do F remaster, okay? <laughs> and basically what I did is I just saved it. And now as you can see, it's green, okay? So what that means if it's green is that means it's translated. And anything else that's gray, obviously, it's going to be um, left blank or not translated yet. So yeah. Um, and I'm trying to see what else I should probably cover. So yeah, more information. The context is just kind of where it, where, where it was seen. An example is, well, this is more for when you're downloading the actual file to translate it, but yeah. 
And this is some history, I guess. So yeah. Anyways, it's actually a lot simpler than you think. You just go through there and literally just fill it out. And also one thing really cool you can do too is you can actually literally translate the name of your game. Now this is one of the things I wouldn't translate it though, because if you think about it, like you want your game to be named the same for everyone, right? Like I guess it makes sense to translate it a little bit, um, but like, it, you know, like if your name is, you know, Josh, something like that, okay? People calling you a foreign, okay, so, okay, so let's say there's like a, a way to say Josh in, in French, right? How, how am I going to understand that my name is being said if it's in French and I don't speak French? I feel like the name and stuff like that should be kept the same for sure. I definitely would not translate a name. I would keep that the same, um, but yeah, anyways. All right, and then the description, that's, I mean, that's something you definitely want to change. Change the description a little bit so people can read that, but the name, you know, that's like one word. I would keep that the same. It's sort of like, you know, people call Call of Duty, Call of Duty everywhere around the world. So, yeah. Anyways, another really cool thing, too, is you can change your game icon, which I guess I can see, I can understand why you want to change that, maybe. Um, but, I don't know, that I wouldn't change, really. But game thumbnails, I definitely understand, because sometimes you have text in there that says, like, oh, like, um... I don't know. I can't think of examples, but you know what I'm saying. There's sometimes text in your game thumbnails, and that you might want to actually translate in the text um, in the thumbnail, and then you can re-upload it here. Um, and as you can see, it gives you the dimensions and stuff like that. But yeah, that's pretty cool too. And then you can do the same thing for your game products, so like game passes and then dev products. You'll be able to change the thumbnails for that too. I'm pretty sure the text too, but I don't have any here as you can see. But yeah, that's pretty cool. Anyways, after that, you're going to go, so like once you fill all the stuff out, right, where you want to translate it to, um, you can just go back into your game. Okay, so let me see if I can just go back here, configure localization. Okay, there we go. Um, as you can see here, that, that will be translated. Now, what you need to do actually to turn that on is go to use translated content, and then that will actually make it so it enables the content that's translated. So there you go. You check that on. And now if you filled out that stuff, whatever you filled out in this green will now be getting translated if somebody joins in their from down region or they speak that language. So, yeah, pretty cool. And then this, um, honestly, I, I kind of forgot what this did, to be honest with you. <laughs> but um, it, it, there's, there's a wiki post about it if you want to read that about that. But I don't think you – oh, yeah, okay. This actually clears your untranslated auto capture screen basically means if i remember like what okay like what'll happen is whenever you like so like okay okay so sometimes you don't want stuff to be translated right you don't want stuff to be automatically translated so what you can do is you can go to your starter gui here or your guis and then you can enable this and then you can show um like or like for example let's see this, this text label right here okay i have this text label what i can do is i can go down here to auto localize and i can uncheck that and what that's going to do actually is not capture that whenever you um whenever you have this automatic text chapter on so that's what it means it's just going to basically not capture um that information whenever you have this checked on so yeah so then it won't pop up you know in your translated area because maybe you don't want to translate that specific part right and this this just kind of clears that um so that it clears the untranslated auto captured strings yeah kind of self-explanatory actually what am i saying anyways uh so yeah and then this is some kind of report you can download and this is if you want to credit your translators or whatever you can do that too so yeah it's actually a lot easier than you might think to translate this is kind of just the basics obviously there's a lot more that goes into it but um if you're you know trying to you're trying to just translate some basic stuffs um you know you can literally just google word for word whatever you want to translate but like i said guys when you're doing that be careful because it like just because you're doing word for word tr like translations it doesn't mean that it's actually going to Makes sense in that language. I know it might be hard. It might be. I know, I know it might be hard to understand. But if you're from, you know, if you're from a different country, you understand two different languages. You definitely know what I mean. So, um, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's pretty much it, though. Uh, like I said, if you're interested in that road tech event, be sure to subscribe for that. And uh, sorry I didn't upload the past two days. I was just kind of taking a little break, I guess. But yeah. Anyways, guys, that's it. I hope you enjoyed. If you need any more help with this, let me know in the comment section below. I'll be down to help you out. Uh, be sure to leave a like as well. And um. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one, and I'll see you guys on Saturday in the live event. All right, peace, guys.